the main underlying idea of game theory, uh, the game theory has one underlying idea, yeah, and that is incentives. You want to give, you want to make other people do what you want them to do. You want to make them want to do what you want them to do, okay? This week, the guest of the department was Professor Robert J. Amon, a renowned Israeli-American mathematician who is most closely associated with the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. His groundbreaking work in game theory culminated in his receiving the Nobel Prize for Economics in 2005, which he shared with Thomas Schelling. I grew up in the late Cold War, so that, as a little boy that was something that uh, I felt hanging over my head and I'm sure all of my classmates did as well. You know, there's a Roman proverb, and the Roman proverb, I'll say it in Latin, si vis pacem para bellum. And what it means is, if you want peace, prepare for war. Okay? That's very, very important and very, very true. Tom Schelling shared the Nobel Prize with me, okay? Tom's Nobel address was called The Amazing 60 Years. The Amazing 60 Years were the years from 1945 to 2005, yes? 1945 was Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The amazing part that Tom was talking about was that after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, uh, nuclear weapons were never once used in anger. Never once used in anger after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Cold War remained cold. It was uh, like a, a cloud hanging over your head as a little boy, yes, but it never became hot. And the reason that it didn't become hot is because of the weapons that were there. Weapons, nuclear weapons especially, but all weapons exist in order not to be used. And that is what many people don't understand. That's, that's game theory. My pleasure. Okay.